Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? With everything popping off in this second episode of this saga, I, uh, I don't really know how to feel about this show. It definitely feels like it's going to be a slow burn, and if anything, it's not afraid to jump around in the timeline so I really don't see it using time skips much more right like maybe one more time after they get their avenge or revenge or something you know uh, but if that is the case I really don't know what all will pop off and that's kind of the more interesting part about the show is they haven't really elaborated on the strongest type of magics, the strong, like, you know, there's sword styles and stuff that they can use that incorporates, like, you know, different types of ability, like, you know, fire or something, uh, or maybe an attack that makes you move fast. I don't know. There's nothing really explaining explicitly that there's stuff that really takes place uh, in levels let alone excuse me let alone i don't think we've even seen someone use magic so i'm not even sure if magic is truly a thing i'm just guessing because mythological creatures exist so maybe witches and uh you know the things that are using magic or the people that are using magic are going to start popping up as of recently or they already exist just from what i've seen i don't remember any magic being used i've only seen them using weapons uh swords spears and whatnot axes so that is up for debate the other thing is when we watch this show and see how the princess kind of carries herself under this new identity it's kind of funny to know that she has to not only kind of pretend to be a guy, but I don't think she would understand if she had feelings for uh, Alfred, if she even does, right? So she seems really oblivious to if that is the case, especially with letting the maid, uh, you know, steal attention. She's a, The maid's the only one that acts girly out of everybody there. And of course she is a female, but with how it is, she's posing as a boy. So doing any of those things that the maid does would kind of be counterproductive to the disguise she's put up. Especially if she didn't say she was a boy, it would just draw a lot more attention to how pretty of a girl she was. And, you know, it would only take so much time for people to realize it could be the princess has survived and if that is the case uh the people who attacked the world that attack would probably want to take her out if anything so we'll see how that all plays out overall though i don't know if i'll continue the show it's got to stay relatively interesting for me it's not uh the craziest but I don't see myself uh, not being able to see with the direction of the show going. <sighs> oh, excuse me, I apologize for the yawning. Um, I think I can see where the direction will start to go after a while. There's just some things that haven't been set in stone. Like, for instance, how who's going to get strong enough to be able to fight the werewolf guy? Especially seeing how he looks like he can fight pretty decently without being a werewolf right like he's just, he's ginormous way bigger than the brother or like the uncle so uh these are the types of stuff that really do interest me towards the the long term like if he does kill this guy that killed his father does the show end at that point is there any more story to tell you know like not only does he avenge his father but she gets to avenge the king so there's a win-win situation. The other thing was we learned more about the, how the sister passed away and that she was born with something that made her 
weak in general. Like she just couldn't leave her room and whatnot. So for some odd reason in a carriage ride, it was found tipped over and her body was never recovered from what I understand. So there's a very good chance we run into his sister again, which is just another one of these things that's like, okay. <laughs> and just in the grand scheme of like, we have no information about a lot in this show. So to get information about the sister who may or may not be dead because the body was never found is very questionable uh, to ask about where the plot will go for her. Or if she is dead, then what was the point of not saying she's just dead and confirming it, you know? So that being said. Hope everybody has a good day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. Let me know if you're enjoying the show, if you drop the show, whatever the case may be. I'd love to talk to you about it. So take care. Thank you for the subscriptions and the likes. Whenever you guys do it, I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.